Evolution. Evolution, yeah. So now you're talking about what would happen if I took a human being, right, and I locked him up his whole life, let's say 60 years, never exposed it to sunlight. What would happen to their eyes? Black. Black. So they won't become big. It's really okay, bad. Right, but would, now would they be able to see them? No, no, no. No, because let's say I took away their took away all light. They never saw light, and then on their 59th birthday, I took them out and put them in the sun. What would happen to them? They get blind. They'd be very sensitive to the light, right? So, for example, uh, what about for example if you had your hand like this, and I tied it up. Uh -huh. You know, but enough to let the circulation go. Yeah. But you never use this hand your whole life. You and also suddenly, have control it. Exactly. You no. also, over time, what affects evolution? Uh, heat. What do you got? What affects your evolution? Uh, environment. Like for, example, like, for example, why do you guys look the way you do and I look the way I do? Why? Girl. Because we need to grow. No, no, I'm not talking about size wise. Oh. I mean, why, why does your face look like that? Like, you guys, <laughs> seem, to, you guys Jeez, all seem to look the same. I look different, right? I don't have the same eyes you do. I don't have the same hands. Yeah, genetics. Yeah, genetics. Now, how do you, this fish, this fish obviously had genetics, but think about it. You have ecosystems, right? Watch this. It's really cool. Ecosystem. Now, I'm going to add plus you. Okay? So, ecosystem plus you plus somebody said, I'm going to add one more plus, plus genetics. Okay, what's that an equal? So you have an ecosystem, you're born into a specific area, write this down. You come into the picture, your parents have you. Okay, now your genetics and you are in this environment. How is this ecosystem going to affect the end result, what you're going to be? Death. Death. No, Death. think about it. If you're born in an area where there's a lot of sun, tons of sun, close to the equator, What's going to happen with your skin color? Uh, it's going to start to tan, right? Now let's say you do that. Your parents have you and you live next to the equator, right? And then your whole family spends 100 generations living next to the equator. Over that 100 year period, is your skin naturally going to be developed into a darker pigmentation? Yes. Yeah. Okay, let's say for example, you live in that area. You're exposed to 100 years of sun. And then suddenly that area becomes prone to sandstorms. Yeah. So your yeah. children always have to split their eyes and keep them slanted to avoid having sand come in their eyes. And they do this for another thousand years. Are the children going to be dark and have slanted eyes for protection? Yeah. Yeah, yeah right? Okay, so now we got the sun, we got sandstorms, and let's pretend that all, all of the farming that's done, right, yeah. has to be done in this really tough soil. And just let's say you don't have any tools for about 500 years. And you huh. dig the soil with your hands. Over time, Probably what's going to happen to your hands? You'll be all the shovel like right. shot. They're going to start to change, oh. right? Or change shape due to the environment, right? Oh. So now, what we're seeing is, look, if we look at us, right? And we look at our environment. What do we have now that they didn't have before? What? Tools? Tools. Okay, we have tools. Forget, no, keep it simple. Tools, what else do we have? Big T word. Trees. Not trees. Technology. Technology, man. So now we got technology. Now because we have technology, are we susceptible to the elements anymore? Do we have to deal with nature the same way? No. No, because when it gets cold, where do we go? Cold. Oh, and then what do we turn on? Heat. Heat. Do we have to make fires anymore? No. no. You, go to no. Huh? you have to if you want to be a man. You have to if you want to be a man. If you want to be in a boy scout, yeah, they make you make a fire. But now, if you really want to be a man, all you got to do is get a little lighter and go, Psh, it's on. <laughs> it's a lot different now. All right? So think about it. So tools, technology, what else do we have now that they didn't have? Stove. Forget about a stove. What else do we have that also keeps us alive? Food. Medicine. Advances in medicine. Advanced. Surgery. Advanced medicine. Now. All these things, do these things also affect the ecosystem? Yes. Yeah, because now we have more tools that need to do more what to the environment? Damage. More damage. damage. Now we got more technology now. Cutting down yeah. one tree used to be a hard thing, right? You had to hit it with an axe like this. It'd be the old day. Now, now you got a machine that just goes like this. 
You cut down 20 trees. 20 trees. You cut 20 trees down in less than a minute. So, is the technology going to affect the environment? Yeah. Yeah. You know, think about this. This is definitely negative. Definitely negative. Now, medicine. Because we have advanced medicine, what happens to human beings? They're doing a lot. What? Now they can what? Live longer. Live very long. Oh. Okay, lifespan, lifespan. Why people who are old ladies live up to 300 years or 200 years? No way, 200 hasn't been done, but I think the oldest person ever, ever recorded. 100, 100 something. 100 and, I don't know about 54, but it's there, it's, it's up there, like 26. But the point is, this person who lives to 126, are they going to take a toll? Are they going to take a toll on the environment? Yes. Yeah, because they're going to continue to do what? They're going to continue to eat. eat. They're going to continue to take up. People. No, no. They're going to continue to take up what? Space. 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 Now, if people are living a lot longer, technology is improving, so are tools, how does the ecosystem stand a chance? Yeah. It doesn't. So we're all going to die. Is, now, okay, so, so basically what you're saying is that there's no hope for the ecosystem of the Earth? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Can the Earth fight back? Yes. Yeah. How, how does the Earth fight back? Earth fight back. Yes. So you, guys, so you think that the earth, let's draw a picture of the earth.